The royal family is steeped in tradition, and the way they spend Christmas is no exception. Year after year, the royals return to Sandringham to spend the holiday season. The Queen has always associated Sandringham with Christmas. It's where she spent most of her childhood. And apart from a brief period where the royals went to Windsor for Christmas, they have always gone to Sandringham for, for the festive period and continue up until today. For the royals, the Christmas period officially begins with the Queen's yearly train journey to Norfolk. The Queen takes the commuter train from, from London King's Cross to King's Lynn, just like any other person that would be going up for, for Christmas to see their family. Um, and in the days leading up to Christmas Day, she often attends a Women's Institute meeting. Every year, the Royals actually exchange Christmas presents on Christmas Eve. Their staff set out trestle tables with all the presents on it and the members of the royal family come in and exchange gifts. There's also a tradition of buying each other a jokey present. For Meghan's first Christmas, she reportedly got the Queen a singing toy hamster, which unfortunately the corgis ended up mauling. The morning church service at St Mary Magdalene's gives us the chance to see the royal family out in force. And on Christmas Day, the royals do the walk to church where they greet members of the public, followed by a traditional Christmas lunch. And in the afternoon, there's usually a walk before the royals come back to Sandringham House and all settle down to watch the Queen's speech. Watched by millions of us, the Queen's Christmas message is a well-loved tradition that stretches back almost 90 years. In 1932, King George V the Queen's grandfather was convinced by the founder of the BBC, John Reef, to, to send a message across the wireless at Christmas time. And he reluctantly agreed, um, and that became the birth of the monarch's Christmas message. His son, uh, King George VI, then followed suit, and 11 months after his death, the Queen gave her first Christmas broadcast in 1952. Television has made it possible for many of you to see me in your homes on Christmas Day. My own family often gather round to watch television, as they are at this moment. And that is how I imagine you now. She's often mentioned special moments in her year. For example, 2018 was the year that she saw two of her grandchildren get married, Princess Eugenie and Prince Harry. And there was also the birth of two great grandchildren, Prince Louis and Lena Tyndall. Just like any other family, the royals have their traditions. And in turn, one of their traditions has become ours. Every year, most families after Christmas lunch settle down to watch the Queen's speech and it wouldn't be the same without it.